What's up, babes? If you are new here, welcome. Now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe. And of course, if you are already a part of Sunflower Gang, then welcome back. Of course, today's video is actually in collaboration with Wiggins Hair. This is actually my first time ever working with them. Of course, all the details will be listed down in my description box below, but this is their U part. This is a 24 inch body wave unit. Of course, y'all know, typically I prefer a small or average size cap, which this one was average as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much put a few layers in it. Nothing too, too crazy. Just a couple of face framing layers. And then you guys will see me literally go throughout the hair with my two inch uh, FHI flat iron, y'all no okay i've had this pretty, pretty much forever <laughs> but i'm just pretty much going through all the hair making sure that everything gets straight typically i would always say when you get a unit you always just want to go ahead and wash shampoo condition it let it air dry to really see what it is that the hair does in this case of course i took it right out of the packaging and i did not do any of that i went ahead and just jumped straight into the video just so that i can get a true feel of what the hair looks like straight out of the box um and yeah you guys can see just how easy it was to go throughout all the hair did not take me very long at all and typically that body wave can be a little bit Eh, a little weird sometimes when you're really trying to just press it out i did go ahead and just lightly layer it but i'm gonna go through with my camera uh flat iron spray just to kind of go over some of the top areas to make sure that everything is smooth and that there are not like a ton of flyaways i did actually notice that the hair was super full from root to tip and then of course because this hair is super long y'all know typically i'll go ahead and chop it up but i'm gonna leave it in its integrity you will kind of see me shape it out just a teensy tiny bit but look at the density look at the shine like that was super pretty and of course i have not added anything to it i do actually have a spotlight up underneath like the actual wig <laughs> for where i'm standing just so that we can get a better view in case you guys are wondering i'm exactly 5'2 this wig is 24 inches so it comes down obviously past my waist but i wanted to just make sure that it was going to hit a little bit above my butt so you guys will see me just kind of going and roughly cutting this and then of course i'll bring it down to my level and then i'll go ahead and just kind of shape everything out but this is where we're gonna be um and then of course i did go ahead and add a ton of stack layers i mean look at the freaking body so <laughs> everything was looking really nice to me i haven't done a u part well i'm saying i haven't done one in a while but of course you guys are seeing the videos they're just now being uploaded um but yeah i was kind of giving my hair a little break because of course we've been doing a ton of leave out work from the micro links to v part um and then of course there'll be a couple of like quick weave videos coming as well i feel like right now everybody's taking advantage of the fact that winter is here so yeah <laughs> but anywho i did actually go ahead and get my hair trimmed after this video that's like literally the day after y'all i was in dire need of a trim i had not had a trim since september and if you guys are not new and do know that i've been on this like hair care journey for a while i did do like a big chop um probably about a year ago two years ago almost um and so yeah my hair has grown out a ton but now we just want to make sure that we're maintaining everything and you guys can see I chose to go ahead and just do a side part So I just pretty much parted everything out clipped it away and you guys can see I literally needed about an inch and a half cut off I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of leave out some hair on the side I only did one side just because I knew that I wasn't gonna be like flipping this back or anything So you guys know when it comes to doing these uh, at home uh, installs I usually try to make this as beginner friendly as possible so if you're not somebody that you know is really really good at braiding and all that don't sweat it too much your braids do not have to be super part super part <laughs> super perfect and the parts don't have to be perfect either nobody's gonna see it um, definitely just do your best to make sure that everything is kind of laying flat obviously I could have done these braids a ton smaller but I really wanted to kind of just maneuver through this to show you how you can quickly get a style on and go and get out the door because who are we kidding okay so i'm just literally bringing everything down to the back i did not do this in any uniform way i didn't create any anchor braids i think by the end of this i probably had about four or five large braids which you guys will just kind of see <laughs> in just a little bit and of course all of the details for the hair will be linked down in my description box below and if there are any coupon codes i will for sure leave that as well so of course because we're just now going to be like installing the hair i cannot really say for sure if the hair is a 10 out of 10 but what i can say is i did not experience any tangling or shedding just straight out of the gate um i did actually end up reinstalling this a couple days later just because i wanted to do like some curls and it was 
super cute. So if you guys are not following me already on Instagram and TikTok, that's where I'll end up posting like the updated style. Um, so definitely make sure that you are following me there. And then you guys can see, I literally just pinned everything up and then here is the unit. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much just attach it. You guys can see that there are combs. Now, the only thing that I will say is I am one of those people that need a ton of combs. There was only one um, in like the front area of the U part. There was one towards the center of the U part and then another one on the other end. I probably would have added just one more clip a little bit behind the uh, the ones on each end just to really make sure that everything is secure. But you guys can see just how easy that was to kind of flip on and go. And you didn't have to like overthink the parting. Literally, I could have left out even more hair and this wig would have been adjusted to that. So not too much trouble. And you guys can see I'm able to just go all throughout the hair with no problems. And it actually felt really, really silk silt <laughs> it felt really really smooth you guys and so i did go ahead and just quickly go through my hair i didn't do too much of course i did use a heat protectant um i've been lately loving the blowout i think is that the name of the brand I think it's called the blowout. I'll do, I'll make sure to just put it down in the description box. It's a really, really good heat protectant. If you don't want to use the, uh, the one that I'm suggesting, then of course y'all know, typically I'll go ahead and just use the Mazzani one. That has been a lifesaver. So I'm just going to go throughout all my hair. And then of course, if you are not someone that wants to do the baby hair look, then definitely do not do it. I'm just going to go ahead and smooth everything back. So of course you guys can see how quickly and easy it was for my hair just to kind of blend. And I don't know if you guys got a chance to see the video where I dyed my hair black y'all I used a brand new color let's just talk about the fact that the color not only broke my hair off but it also it also did not last so I'm not impressed I don't know that I need to do like a dedicated video to talk about it but you guys can see the damage I'll definitely be doing an updated like natural hair video really soon so definitely make sure that you guys have on your post notifications so that you don't miss it and this is just a final look at pretty much the hair straightened directly on I have not done anything additional to it let me know what you guys think about it because for me it was cute it was giving the vibes um and then of course y'all know i typically like to add a few curls whenever it is that i'm going to be working with like straight hair just because i feel like for me it never really just sits that nicely on my head i don't know what it is now obviously my braids needed to be a little bit flatter but i just never really liked that sleek super sleek hair on myself i always wanted to have a little bit of body and then of course y'all know i always just try to double check to see if i can pull this up this would be a unit that i could definitely throw on a quick cap and kind of go um but of course y'all want to make sure y'all got a little hair left out in the back now we can't catch y'all slipping and then of course y'all know when it's time to uh pretty much take this out it's usually very easy to do. All that you do is unsnap the clips, go ahead and just literally take this off. Be careful because you don't want to like snag your hair. <laughs> and there are combs going all around the perimeter. So just pull those out, shake out the wig, put it up somewhere nice and neat so that you don't have to like recurl it or anything. And I literally just smoothed my hair back. I'm just going to go ahead and use my head scarf and then of course tie it down and you are pretty much all set. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave any comments or questions down below. I love Love you guys so much stay pretty and i will see you in my next video bye babies